Fred Harvey Cuisine. In 1888, a dinner menu in a Fred Harvey establishment might offer blue points on the half shell, English peas au gratin, mashed potatoes, potatoes francaise, boiled sweet potatoes, Elgin sugar corn, filet of white fish with Madeira sauce, young capon, roast sirloin of beef au jus, pork with applesauce, stuffed turkey, salmi of duck, English style baked veal pie, prairie chicken with currant jelly, sugar cured ham, lamb, seven vegetables, four salads, and such desserts as charlotte of peaches with cognac, mince pie, cold custard a la chantilly, cakes, cheeses, and fruit. The cost for a meal was 75 cents. In 1876, on a handshake agreement with the Santa Fe Railroad, Fred Harvey was granted the lunchroom on the second floor of the Topeka, Kansas Depot. He gave the place a new look and menu, and within a short time hungry locals and passengers were clogging the restaurant. A 35-cent breakfast consisted of steak with eggs, a six-high stack of wheat cakes with maple syrup, and apple pie, generously cut into five pieces, not the traditional six, with coffee for dessert. The first lunchroom was such a success that he went on to open more locations along Santa Fe's main line. By 1883, Fred Harvey controlled 17 eating places on the Santa Fe's main line, and the chain continued to grow. In 1889, he signed a contract with the Santa Fe that granted him exclusive rights to the eating houses along the route. The railroad provided free transportation for all his employees, equipment, and foodstuffs. The railroad built or provided facilities for the restaurants, and Fred Harvey ran them. All meals, services, and prices were standardized. A traveler could enter a Harvey House restaurant and be assured of the same meal with the same quality, whether it was in Topeka or Clovis, New Mexico. Fred Harvey maintained two dairies, produce farms, a cattle ranch, and a central laundry on the Santa Fe system. Fred Harvey Coffee had consistent taste across the system. When local water was unusable, the Santa Fe hauled in tank cars full of spring water. He also had something else, the Harvey girls. They were not to be called waitresses. Passengers had 30 minutes for the meal stop. The manager would telegraph the day's entrees to a station several miles down the line. The conductor then requested each passenger's meal choice, and at the last telegraph stop, wired back the passenger's preferences. By the time the passengers detrained, the salad course was on the table. As the passengers tucked in, a Harvey girl would take their entree and drink orders. Soon a drink girl arrived and poured each person's drink choice. How did she know? When the first Harvey girl took their order, she moved their cups. Right side up on the saucer meant coffee, upside down in the saucer, hot tea, upside down and tilted against the saucer, iced tea, upside down and off the saucer, milk. This was known as the cup code. The passengers did not have to feel hurried because the next course would arrive as soon as they finished each course.